All right, so this is the tank. The same tank that my last video uh, covered. The same tank that was covered in weird goo and other things that really need to be worked on and the crack in the base that need to be fixed, which you can see right down there. I had to fill it with epoxy and proper aquarium materials. And uh, I got this clean to the best of the abilities that would allow itself to be cleaned, which unfortunately, because it being hand-me-down from some uh, family friends, meant that it was in really bad shape. But essentially, what I did was, there they are, there's yonder, down there's yonder, and over there's your. Uh, the, essentially, what I had to do was I cleaned it multiple times, a uh, layer, uh, layer with just detergent. Then I came over all the glass with Windex, another layer of detergent, a layer of soapy water. I washed the thing, I dried the thing, I did my best to keep the thing clean. I tried to get the stuff that you can see, that black stuff that's actually underneath. It is not in the water, but that just didn't work out. And then afterwards... Uh, we had a bag of pea gravel. I got it. Uh, and I washed it so the turtles would be okay. To make a beach for them, because dirt gets really bad in these tanks, especially when you have to clean them and transfer. Hey, no, none of that. Um, and yeah, I got this pea gravel. I washed it. I dried it. I made sure it was clean, boiled for safety, and all the things you're supposed to do when you move turtles into a new environment. Um, this plastic tree was actually in the old tank, and I kind of liked having it over here in the corner. So, I mean, it's still there. Uh, put it back. Um, and then, what I essentially did was just get the turtles. You can see yonder, you are. Um, uh, got them out of their old enclosure, which is somewhere around here. Anyway, and I moved them, got them to safety, uh, brought the tank up from the back porch. Uh, filled it out, made sure it didn't leak, poured it out, washed it again. Oh, that was, that's my bad, guys. And, uh, essentially, I brought it up here, made sure everything was clean, sterilized, ready to go. Uh, built this beach over here. Uh, hands up, making it go all out of focus. Focus, please. No? Okay. Um, and essentially, I just made this pebble beach for them because I don't like using dirt in my tanks, and they seem to enjoy it, the two of them, uh, and then I banked it up here, and I filled the tank with a little bit of water, I mean, they're not big enough to need a lot of water, and half the tank is dedicated strictly to water, though I do need to get the, some stuff yet to get it clean proper, maybe a filtration system that I could work on, uh, because I don't want it to fill with a lot of water, these guys are really small. But uh, we'll get to that bridge when we cross it. And yeah, as you can see, it's a rather large tank. And it's quite spacious for their size, but they'll grow. I'm really expecting to treat these guys well. Um, they just got fed, and they look pretty hungry, I guess. That's why they're looking up at me. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Maybe a few more updates when the tank gets cleaned again, or I redo something, or change the log out. I don't know, but, oh yeah, down here uh, is where I keep their food, uh, just special buffet blend for turtles, uh, make sure they're ready to go, some mealworms, some shrimp, and all that stuff, this is their typical food, you're only supposed to give this to them twice a week, I give it to them three times, because they're my special little baby darling turtles, and uh, this stuff's what they normally eat, uh, it's spilled over as you can see, but it's relatively okay in, the t in here, I just keep it under here next to the some other stuff, that's why it's right there for handy ease of access for the two turtles. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, thanks for watching, and who knows, maybe it'll be an update video or something. Uh, and yonder and you are here, say so long, so have a good one guys, stay safe.